I guess it's time to do the 120 hour review of a 2021 2038R turbo diesel. Proof to hours. Pretty much 120 hours. Hard worker. Third plunge is really not worth it still. Still out of problems. Lost the pin to my quick hitch. One of these pins. I don't know how I need to adjust that. Let's put it that way to do something. Um, yeah. Like I said, a can piece off. It's over there for winter. Need to take it to car wash and wash it. Need to take this off because don't need it. See how easy it is. Uh, the tractor. Might as well give it a view. I need to fit the wiring up. The tractor has no spacers. Hydraulic top link. Quick hitch. Dual wear remote. LED light upgrade kit. Uh, third function. Uh, weight, front weight bracket. Canopy. He's getting up there in hours, working hard. Third function is just a disappointment. If I get a front snow blade to use in the loader, I don't know. I'll see. I don't know what this all seems like someone's been cutting cats. I better take my truck. But yeah, uh, tractor, besides the third function, been great. Love the ag one, or one tires, the ags. Love having the great, love having the top link. Thanks to Rock Hill Farms doing a video after I did mine about it. And yeah, I hate people like that. It's one of my pet peeves. Uh, tracks are good around a tether. Run tether pretty good. Love to have the eye match. I like, how the, I like having the eight gallon fuel tank. I like having the tool box. I like to see. My biggest thing that I like the most on this tractor is the control centers all right here. The three point loader. You got your hydraulics, BTO, con continuous flow, cruise control. I like how that's all right there instead of being up here, like on 1025R, some of the buttons are. I like the auto throttle, I don't use it as much anymore. Got a spin knob, I might take off. Um, Oh yeah, I got the guard kit. <laughs> so, that works out pretty well. Uh, tractor has power. Uh, here's my loader. Has the grip on it. Uh, here's the Frontier tiller. It runs this tiller great. Like, I tilled six hours in a row with it. A lot of road tilling, but it'll tell. It runs a six foot. Uh, well, it's played pretty good. I would recommend going with a sit foot. Runs a brush hog pretty good. I got power forks in the bucket and a finish mower. My old John Deere cart. I got one I bought my 10 my uh, 758. So how, how has it been for the past three months, four months, three of owning it? Been great. Like I said, besides the third function, it's been great. I like having the turbo. It really makes a difference in power. Tires are loaded. Helps out. Uh, the four wheel drive, it's like I had to put my foot on and push it down when I need to disengage it. There's a diff, your park, your high and low, and your PTO selector. Tractor also has dual brakes, which is nice. I use them. Got one I'm tilling. Felt like trying to make everything look nice. Um, Yeah, I like how easy it is to check the oil. Uh, might as well do it. There's a engine oil filter, one fuel filter. The second one is down here. That is like a screen you can take out and clean. And both your hydraulic and oil filters are back there. Um, there's your dip to take to check it. There's your fill. 
like I said, it's been a great try through. To be honest, I like having it. It's been it's awesome to run. I pile, I'll plow through a bunch of brush, trees, and all, and it'll mow it. I like how the loader's so one piece instead of a two piece. Um, this tractor was special ordered with the R1s. Uh, the lights, I did not, I did not order with the tractor. I had them, the guards, and the canopy. Uh, this hydraulic top link came off of Amazon. Best, in, good investment. Yeah, uh, yeah. Canopy was wearing in the bar. But, yeah, tractor's been great. I like having it. 2038 or, oh, heck. I have a uh, OD upgrades in the front. Okay, you can see it. Yeah, that's pretty much about it. Great tractor, a lot of hours. The cons to having it, it's a little bit bigger than the 1025R to me. Uh, that's another one. There's not too many. Paired the 1025R were too small. I wasn't happy with it as much as I am with this. Another con about the tractor, I will say, is the draw bar is still closer to the ground. Kind of hard to run a hay tether, but I'll run it. But if anyone's interested in one of these, I would recommend it. 2038R or a 3E. Because you're getting, I give 25,000 for the tractor. No, nothing on just the bear tractor and the bear loader and everything added on trailer and all. Yep, I think this would do for the video, and I'll see you on the next video. Enjoy and uh, give a thumbs up. Have a good night.